Hey folks, Nintendo here, with some tips for inventory management. There are a ton of items in DayZ, and with a full inventory of items, it can be overwhelming. These tips aim to make it a little easier and to make for an optimal playing experience. Now there's no true right or wrong way when it comes to setting up your inventory, but there are some things to keep in mind. Ask yourself what items you want to be able to quickly access that won't fit in your hotbar. I like to have easy access to extra bandages, handcuffs to tie up knocked out players, a lockpick to easily lock doors, and disinfectant to clean rags and cuts. So I usually put these types of items in my chest rig or shirt where I can quickly access them. The other side of the coin is to think about where you often take damage. If you're getting shot in the chest, your items could take durability damage and become ruined. For this reason, I typically spread out my bandages to more than one inventory type, such as one in my chest, one in my legs, one in my backpack, etc. To take it a step further, I will put what I call an emergency healing setup into a protector case, first aid pouch, dry bag, or even a teddy bear. If my backpack takes a whole bunch of damage and everything gets ruined inside, that case will help keep the items inside in good working order, so that way you always have that backup medical set to fall back on. A full saline bag in the case is a welcome addition as well. If you have a whole bunch of blood loss, that will help you regenerate your blood and give you that color back. I typically try to limit my weapon selection to two long guns, such as an assault rifle and a sniper. Then a silenced pistol, such as an MK2, that sole purpose is killing zombies. Now in reality, much of your early to mid game will be running around with whatever gun you can find and a mix of ammo while also being desperate for magazines. But at the end of the day, I do aim for two long guns and a silenced pistol. And then a one handed melee weapon. Talking about ammo, as you get closer to your end game goals, you'll want to slim down on extra ammo types that you're not using. For example, let's say you've collected a large amount of 380 while you look for weapons. Now it's later in the game and you're stacked with a 5.56 weapon, a 308 sniper, and you have little to no use for 380. Once you've found your ideal setup, don't just hold on to that old ammo that you no longer need. Don't be afraid to toss it in the bin and save some weight. Remember, the less you weigh, the bigger stamina pool you'll have. When it comes to grenades, flashes, and smoke, I typically hold on to any grenade I can find. You never know what kind of situation you may find yourself in, and landing a grenade on an enemy location may land you some kills. The same goes for a pox toxic grenade, the more the merrier. As for flashbangs, I usually only hold on to one or two of them, whereas smoke, I try to limit myself to one smoke at most. I can remember times where I carried around about five smoke grenades and never ended up using any of them. Keep in mind, this is more of a general vibe I want to get across. I never play exactly the same each time. Always be flexible and go with what feels right for you on that run. When it comes to inventory space for food and water, there are two schools of thought. Eat everything you find and keep your food and water solidly in the white. The second method is to min-max by only eating when your character hits yellow food. The reason being is your character gets more nutrients from food when you're in the yellow. There is no true right or wrong, but I personally just eat what I have and try to stay solidly in the white at all times, while often keeping one extra can on me. It keeps my character light, my immunity level up, and frees up inventory space. And hey, if a player does kill me, now they don't get a grocery store full of food off my body. Medical items will always be a welcome addition to your inventory. The top item being Tetra, which will cure a wide range of ailments. Hold on to any medicine you can get and make space for it. Remember that if you have two of the same medicine in your inventory, you can often combine them to save space. With that said, I typically wouldn't carry around more than a full stack of medicine. With the exception of Tetra, there is always space in my bags for Tetra. 
every life, I keep my eye out for the three ingredients to a mobile cooking setup. A gas canister, a gas burner, and a cooking pot. With the full setup, you can store a large amount of water, boil that water to purify it, and even boil food to keep yourself well fed on the go. This setup will make your life a whole lot easier. And although it does take up a lot of space in your backpack, for me, I'll always find a way to make space for it. You can even use the cooking pot as temporary storage. So that way, if you're full of items, you can put it in the cooking pot. And then when you're ready to cook, just take those items out. When collecting items, you need to ask yourself if you're going to build a base or try to build a car. If you have no plans to build a base, then naturally ditch any base building supplies. The same goes for cars. If you want to leave the possibility of a car open without carrying a ton of items, keep one spark plug on you as it only takes one inventory slot. A nice middle ground could also be making a stash somewhere and bringing any base or car parts to it immediately when you find one. Let me know in the comments how you set up your rig or any golden pieces of advice you'd like to share. Catch me live on Twitch by following the link below. Check the video on the left for more tips and tricks. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day. Peace.